Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I have a very exciting horror game for you guys. Except before we get into that, I do want to show you guys a little special something that we have finally received for the Morant channel. And that would be this box right here. If you guys remember, I think it's been almost two years since we hit 100,000 subscribers here on the Morant channel. And um, YouTube actually lost my play button. They sent it and it got lost in the mail and it was unresolved until I had to purchase another one. So I did exactly that. And two years later, here we finally have the Morant silver play button. Uh, as you can see, it does say Morant on the back. Congratulations on passing 100,000 subscribers. So I know this is a little bit late. We are almost at 300,000 subscribers at this point, but I do still want to say thank you guys for all the support over the past two years. It's been a pleasure, you know, making these videos, uploading them, and I truly do appreciate that you guys you know, enjoy watching my content. And thank you for sticking around, whether, you know, you subscribed on day one, subscribe right now, actually, please. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't already, but in other exciting news, what is the game that we are going to be playing today? Well, that is none other than this game called Bad Parenting. Now, this is a game about Mr. Redface, who is a fictional character created by adults to teach their children. And this game is about Ron, the main character who witnesses the suffering that Mr. Redface brings to his family. This is like a old style indie game. I guess very PS1 style reminiscent. So if you guys remember those types of games that we play on this channel, you should be in for a good treat here, but I haven't seen any of the gameplay. I just, you know, thought this game had an interesting aesthetic. It sounds pretty interesting as well. So if you do enjoy the content, like, comment, subscribe, join us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. But without further ado, this is my playthrough of Bad Parenting. Please do enjoy. God, that's creepy. <laughs> you see that? Hello? Bad parenting. Story one. Mr. Redface. Okay. Son, wait, so, son, so, son, wait. Oh, am I talking? Okay. Mom, you're home late again. Come on, I was busy with work. Can you have some sympathy for me? But today is my birthday. Oh, oh, of course I know that. Then where is my gift? Um, have you ever heard of Mr. Redface? On the birthday of good children, Mr. Redface secretly leaves gifts while they are asleep. Really? Of course. If you want to get your gift, you have to go to bed right away. I'm going to bed right now, Mom. <laughs> what? Oh my God. You're fooling the kid again. How many times have you come home this late? I was working and my shift ended late. Bullsh! You still think I'm an idiot, don't you? Oh my god. Hey, little ch ch <laughs> He calls his kid that? <laughs> what? Get back to your room. Don't stand here eavesdropping on grown-up conversations. Okay. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Um. Alright, guess I'll go to my room now. Uh, where is my room? I see the kitchen. Anything in here? Anything? Nope, okay. Seems like a pretty normal kitchen. Uh, was this my room? No. I see a phone over here. Oh my god, what are these decorations, bro? And, okay, this smudge, oh wait, 
Assis dessus. Oh, okay. The bed sheets are just red. Okay. So this must be the parents' room. They have like what, two twin size beds. And maybe this is my room then? Oh, yep. Why is my room so dark? What the heck? Why is their room like so nicely lit? And then mine is just like Harry Potter under the stairs. Mattress on the floor type beat. Okay, I do have a TV though. That's good. Uh, <laughs> what is this, bro? Is that toilet paper? Guess I'll go to bed now. Am I sleeping? Nice. Oh God, what was that? I hear stomping. Is that the gift from Mr. Redface? No way! Oh. Wow. The doll speaks? Hi, I'm Ron. What? You can talk? Of course, because I was created by magic. You even have the same name and his appearance as me. <laughs> That's right, my master made me just for you. But your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay. Sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. Do you want to play something with me? Hmm. My master stored my toys in the closet. Can you get them for me? How about... No. Chucked out at the window right now. I don't got a window. I'm enclosed in a shoebox. Hello. The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? I've tried my best. I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll. Can you even eat? No, you'll be the one eating, but I'll be able to feel everything you eat. My master linked all your senses and emotions to me, so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> okay, guess we'll go eat. Uh, hello? Mom? Dad, I have a cursed doll. What do I do with it? What if I just leave? Let's just run away from home. That sounds like a good idea to me. Oh my god, of course not. Trash can? Throw this doll away? Okay, what, what can we even eat here? Oh, I see medication. Yummy. Just kidding, don't do that. Uh, fridge? What's this? You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I've prepared your favorite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating. Lately, I've noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have much time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medicine after eating, mom. Okay. What's this? You're holding something. How do I... Can I drop it? How do I... Oh, there. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Alright. Grab this, and in the microwave. Oh, perfect. Oh, and now we can eat this. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want me to, do you want to see me perform some magic? 
Yes, please. All right, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will be restored to its original state. <laughs> what the? Okay. Uh, wow, that's amazing. What else can you do? What the? Huh? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. You guess. Oh no. The bottle. My dad's gonna whip me. I hope he's still asleep. Your dad? Don't worry, my master has taken your dad away. What did you say? What do you mean by that? What is... Oh, he's here. Where's my dad? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Oh, shoot. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect children like you. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He is a bad person. No, he's not. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'd agree <laughs> with the son here, but... Please... Let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. We'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. <sighs> Here we go again. He's pointing at the... Okay. It's still shut, though. You still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet, then. Okay. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. Oh god. There's nothing in here. Oh, right. I forgot. There are a few steps you need to take to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. Radio? This one? This radio will work like an elevator button. You need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. Like that? What the freak? Seems like that's not it. Let's try again. What is it, static? <laughs> what frequency are we... What frequency are we listening to here? God, the white space. I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Oh my god, this is such a trap. Oh. Wow. What is going on here? What is this? Hello? <laughs> What's up? I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait a moment. 
There are many Bruces here. Any more details? Is this Bruce a good Bruce or bad Bruce? Well, my dad is kind of the person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. <laughs> Bro, what is this freaking game? There are still many bad Bruces. More specifics, please. What does he do? He often yells? Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me? And slaps, too. And... That, that's all. The door is behind you. That's the door? What is this place, bro? Okay... Oh. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Where are these me-looking kids? <laughs> Whoa! Haha, <laughs> he just got startled! Who are you guys? Just like you, we're kids on our way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. What the heck, dude? Why are they sitting like- Okay, what in- Okay. Guess we'll go this way. Into the light? Oh my god. Um, father, you don't look too good. I'm gonna be real. Dad? Please stop punishing me. It's me, Dad. Please stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home, or Mr. Redface will take both of us. Bro, what is this game? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I see... Oh, what's this? Spell. Oh! Okay, that was a bit too loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, he can move now. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? M Mr. Redface is taken, Dad. Oh. Well, that's a good thing then. I I'm not joking. It's a long story. Let me explain. How is your doll Ron doing today? Is it alright? The, the doll? Mom, how do you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No? <sighs> I don't know what is wrong with you. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. Damn. Okay. Guess I'll just go to- Hello? What just happened, son? Are you all right? Um. Do you feel better now? Yeah, Mom. It's Mr. Redfin. It's all right. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off to stay at home and take care of you. Really? Promise me, Mom. I promise. Now, go back to sleep. Yes, Mom.
Dude, what is going on? Uh, Mom? Uh, you've broken the promise again. Mother? 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 Can I leave? Okay. Bruh! What is happening? Oh, the doll is here again. And he has no head. Or actually, he's balding. Oh. Oh, man. That's, uh... What happened to you? My master beat the ass out of me. He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I I'm sorry. This is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? It just happened. I'm sorry. I couldn't stop him. You should run away, because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I have to save my mom and my dad too. Ow, don't you see what he did to me? I found this at my dad's prison. I think it might help us defeat him. That, that's the spell to defeat Redface. Come on, quickly, go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. This closet? Why do I feel like he's going to be outside? Oh, it's open. Here we go. Oh, I'm back. Cat's gone. And are those the children? Why are we hiding? Hello? Guys? Oh, it's the doll. Quickly, throw the spell in here and take cover. It's like a grenade or something? Oh god. Oh my lord. Humpty Dumpty looking thing. Doors closed. What in the world? <laughs> what? What now? Do I leave? Okay, I think I might have to go back now, right? Let's try that. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm back. Oh, God. What? What's happening to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he cast on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry. This is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. Are they actually going to be there? Oh. Hello? Dad? Mother? Oh, they're back. Is it like actually them though? Dad! Mom! Y'all are free now! <laughs> Y'all? <laughs> That's so weird. Oh! You've been having an affair, haven't you? I told you I was busy with work. Liar. You've neglected this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And what about you? Do you think you're better than me? You're just at home leeching off me all year round. What kind of father are you?
No matter what I do, it's my business, and I still bring money home to support my child. And if you still think I'm a, oh, you're lowering your, yourself even below that. Oh my God, bro. One more word. Fine, you and I will get a divorce. One of us will have to move out of this house. If you're still here tomorrow, I'll take my son and leave. You stay right there. What is going on? Oh god. I won't let this happen. Oh, uh, what the freak? I Okay, of course you can't leave. Bro, what? What do I do? I think I was holding down on the space bar.
Do you have any clues about your husband's hiding place? You just drop something, ma'am. What is that? It's a motel card. What? I'm not sure it's mine. Bro, what did I just play? That was not the game that I thought it was. I'm gonna be real. I thought this was similar to like those other types of horror games that we've played on this channel. But that was more just like disturbing. Well, if you did not know what happened, basically this game wasn't really about defeating, well, it kind of was, but it wasn't really about like escaping and defeating Mr. Redface. The game was a recap of all the events that led up to Ron, which is the kid that we were playing as and his death. And it was just recounting the story through the eyes of Ron, basically. In a way, it was about defeating Mr. Redface because Mr. Redface was the father who killed Ron and put him in the closet. Yeah, this was just a really disturbing game. I'm gonna be real. Um, my apologies. I was not aware that this game was of this nature. There definitely will be a viewer discretion at the beginning of this video, so you will probably know by now, but holy crap, dude. The other kids in like that realm were basically just kids who also passed away, and in the end, like you saw, we did join them as well, but... Thank you for making it to the end of this video regardless. Sorry this had to be the video to celebrate our 100k play button as well, but I do still want to say thank you guys very, very much for all the support on this channel. We are actually going for 300,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you haven't subscribed already and if you do enjoy the content, please do consider subscribing. Keep up to date with some of the videos that are going to be posted in the future. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching this video. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts of it all, as always. Join us on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.